got a work piece and you're normally playing, say a rabbit, I'm going to remove this section here. You have to apply force down and in. That way you keep it square and flush and you move on. That's paying attention in two directions and it's kind of hard but you can do it. But there's a better way of doing it. Got a work piece and let's say we're going to remove the same section. Okay. If we hold the plane at a 45 to the section, let's say it was V-notched, now we only have to apply it towards this corner here and put pressure in one side. If you were cutting an OG and you were doing it with a normal plane, this plane iron would have to be that shape. And that's a lot of steel because they used wrought iron here on this part and they applied steel and they removed it so it would be able to make that. If you do it with a sprung plane, you don't have to apply as much to get the same shape. So you can use less steel. This blade cut is not as dramatic as this one is. That's another reason. It's less steel and it's easier to use. The only problem is you have to pay attention to the front of the plane. And if you can see right here we have the sprung line. So we align that piece up with our work piece and we make the molding. I think you can see this one a little bit better. There. Alright. Sprung planes. A little bit different creature. The spring mark is on the front of it because you line it up by eye at the beginning and then you follow through with the push. That being said, your sprung lines are on the front because when you're cutting your piece you're lining it up with your eye to the piece at the beginning. It's rare that you ever see sprung lines here. Now, there you can find some planes that are not sprung planes, or spring planes, however you want to pronounce it, that have the layout marks from where the plane was made, and that's just layout marks. Usually they've got a 90 degree tangent here that shows your workpiece. And because of the way I'm cutting this, I'm going to bottom this plane out right here all right nicely and if I have a stoppage as always guys remove it with something wood Shavings. Pretty nice. things are over here that Papa plays with all the time? What are these? What is that? Can you say plane? Plane. Yeah, they're big and heavy, aren't they? They're real big. Papa's even got, I got a real small one there. That's a monster, ain't it? 
that's a number eight, right? That number eight's for joining. This is a number four. Number four. Pick that up for me. See if you can pick that up. Kind of heavy, isn't it? Mm -mm. Not too heavy? Mm -mm. All right, well, here. I looked long and hard, mm -hmm. and I found something special. Mm -hmm. First, let's get this here. Now, I want to show you something. You see how this grain of this wood right here okay. looks like it's running uphill? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm doing? I'm drawing them lines on that grain so it looks like it's running that way. Mm -hmm. We're going to run that plane uphill. Let's drop this down. Step back a little bit on your milk crate. Open that vise up. Now I want you to tighten that vise down. Pull that handle up. Grab that handle. Make it tight. Right like that. Is that tight? Good and tight. Now. Are you right or left handed? Show me what hand you write with in school. You right handed? Alright, how old are you? Four. And your name is? Logan. Logan is my name. Let's get this milk crate when we can get a little. Now, I don't, you see anything new? There's a lot of things up there, isn't it? I got you something special for the shop. But when you come, you can help Papa and do your projects, okay? okay. And it's real, too. Believe me? Believe me. Look at here, look at here. It's what is that? What is that? Uh, That's a little bitty plane. That's boy size. That's a number one. Let's put your hand on there. Wrap your hand around it. Now, oh, cutting a little hard. Now look, let me let me see, let Papa see it. I'm gonna loosen this. Pull that plane blade back. I'm gonna tighten it back up. And I'm gonna Turn it up to where I feel it grabbing just a little bit. See my twisting just a little bit. Look at there. So you put this hand on the knob, this hand on the back, push it all the way to the end. Keep pressure down. All right, you start with pressure here, and then you finish with pressure in the rear. This hand. So we start with pressure, flat and square and straight. Push down, just like that. Okay. Is that fun? Mm -hmm. Are you planing? <laughs> Are you making holes? Mm 